What's up everybody? In this video, I wanna show what's on my bow, what I'm using. I've been shooting for you know years, but I started last year actually hunting turkey. And so I want to expand out of course and do more turkey and more just everything, right? Big game, everything. And so uh, I wanna show what's on my bow, what I have. You know, I just met somebody and uh, Cabela's and he bought, I think a 10, 11 year old bow, right? So it, you don't need the very best of stuff you know i want to show at least what i have and and kind of show you that hey you know i can do it too with a second hand bow or whatever the case may be my old bow is a hoyt tricon that's what i shot and when i decided to start hunting i decided to get this hoyt defiant turbo and i absolutely love it it shoots amazingly well i think it's still a great bow i got it for steel at least i think it was a good deal Let's just go quickly over what's on the bow, as far as accessories go. For my stabilizer, I got this Apex um, stabilizer, carbon, I forget what it's called, but it's an Apex stabilizer, side stabilizer. So it goes off to the side and you can move it forward or back and you can also change the you know weights here. So it has, I think, two, two weights on there and then you can interchange them front and back or whatever the case may be so i'm able to i like shooting just keeping my quiver on you can easily take it off but i like just keeping it on so it kind of just helps stabilize the bow from you know tilting to the side where the stabilizer is i like it i, I do i'm a trophy ridge accessory fan so i want to get you know the trophy ridge hitman stabilizer and the sidebar so i do want to get that for now this is working perfectly fine Next is going to be, I do have the Trophy Trophy Ridge uh, Hot Wire Sight. I love this sight simply because I was just trying to decide, there's different ones out there. So anybody new, you have fixed pin sights, which the, the pins, you can move them, but then once you move them, they kind of stay there until you move them again. But that's what you, most of them you have, you know, five or seven or even more, it's crazy and they're fixed, so you, you go 20 yards, 30, 40, 50, and then so on. Then you have movable uh, sights where you might just have one pin and you can move your sight housing up and down or the pin up and down, and you have a sight tape which will tell you, you know, where you wanna, how far you, what your range is, where, you, where you're shooting. So this one kind of combines both of them. You have the top two pins, which are going to be so you have your top two pins. They're going to be fixed. And I'm actually signing it in because I got new arrows. And the bottom pin, you can move, okay? So I can move it just with this right here. This bottom pin will move up and down. This one I will have at 20, and this one I will have at 30. This one can go from like 40 down to, you know, 120, something like that. Just kind of depends on how I set it, um, my poundage, so. So I like this site because I like to have that combined ability to switch pins quickly with the top two, whether, you know, most of your shots in archery are gonna be, you know, 50 and under, 40 and under, somewhere around there. And then if I do need to take longer shots, I can have a pin here if I need to go, you know, 40, 50 or 60 yards or even higher. I can use that pin to kind of go there. But most of your shots, typically in archery, are gonna be, you know, 40 yards or less, typically. Um, I do have, whoop, there we go. I do have this drop away rest. Oh, there we go. Um, it just kind of goes up. Let's see if I can find it here. This just goes up and drops. Drops out of the way. I like it. Is there, are there better sites? Probably. But so far, it works for me. I had a Whisker Biscuit before. I think Whisker Biscuits work as well, too. I did find that my veins were kind of deformed a little bit after some shooting. So I kind of sw just switched to this. But I think Whisker Biscuits, especially the newer ones, I think they have like a little space in between where the veins can kind of clear a little bit easier, maybe. But I have my Light Quiver, which is going to be the... Um, it's Trophy Ridge as well. So the rest is Trophy Ridge. This is Trophy Ridge as well. I'm gonna take it off really quick. Does have a light in it. 
why why do I why do I like that? I have no idea, but it helps you put the arrows in, you know, especially if it's dark. You can turn the light on and kind of see in there. And then this one kind of help if you're looking, you know, if you need like a impromptu flashlight or anything like that, you can use that too as well. I like it. It works, holds five. It does come with two different ones of these so that, you know, like you can hold standard arrows or I switched it out because I have the new, well, my new arrows, the full metal jackets, four millimeter deep six. My favorite accessory that is on here is going to be, and you've probably seen it in plenty of videos on my channel, but this sling. This sling I absolutely love because I like to carry my bow with me and not try to put it down as much, or at least that's your natural instinct that's to not put it down. And so this, I'm able to just sling it over and, and I'm good, but I can also shoot with it on. It has a magnet right here that it attaches to and you can shoot. And then when you're done, bam. I might have one for this bow, I might have one for my for my bow fishing bow. And this wristling is from them too as well. So it's all paracord. And I can adjust it here. I don't have to take it off. You don't have to, you do you do not have to take off this sling. And so that's why it's like one of my favorite accessories, is because I can always carry my bow with me. I don't have to take it off, it's convenient, it's awesome. Jeff's awesome too as well. Um, I've, I've talked to him, and so hopefully, you know, I'll be able to meet him uh, soon here someday. There we have it. That is my bow and the accessories that are on it. I've been shooting for a while, almost brand new to hunting. You know, less than a year as far as hunting goes. And so, if you're out there, you're looking at getting into the sport. You don't have to get a brand new bow that's you know 1500 bucks 1200 bucks or whatever it's drop 2000 you can just go out and get a second hand bow make sure it's good have a you know archery shop look at it go out and get some decent accessories for it and you'll be up and running and going that is it thank you guys subscribe like watch more videos cuz there's going to be a many 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 more